I guess it was in 2005 I uh, bought a camera phone for the first time and I was so excited about it back then and since 2005 and now today uh, 15 years later the camera phone has developed or it has uh, it has uh, advanced so much technologically or uh, you can do a lot of things uh, it's a mini computer in your pocket actually uh, you, you can surf the net, you can uh, go into social media, get inter get uh, interacted with the friends and families. There's so much you can do it. You can shoot uh, up to 108 megapixel photos nowadays. And uh, in terms of uh, videos, you can shoot 4K or even 8K with the newer cameras, uh, camera phones like um, uh, Sony, Samsung, Huawei. I have re uh, recently downloaded this app called Filmic Pro which uh, allows uh, users to have more freedom uh, in terms of uh, taking a video uh, compared to a native camera which has a lot of restrictions. Uh, however, this Filmic Pro will give you more of a freedom to control manually uh, however you like it, whichever the mode that you want to shoot and, uh, and uh, it gives a fantastic result. So today I'm going to share with you the basic settings or the guide that uh, I have been using past few days I uh, hope you like it uh, if you like it uh, do consider subscribing to my channel I'll be bringing more of such videos okay here are the settings that I usually uh, use for the Filmic Pro first I'll go to resolutions and uh, when I look into it uh, I would uh, usually shoot on a 4k um, 4k and uh, also uh, choose at the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and on the uh, quality I will uh, choose at the filmic extreme if you prefer lower quality then you can go for the filmic quality or even the Apple standard or even economy so but usually I would put it as on a higher quality as possible and also a uh, codec is uh, HEVC you can choose not to have a HEVC as well and uh, if you are shooting for the uh, Instagram for example TikTok you can go for the one on one and uh, if you like to have those uh, very much as cinematic uh, look that uh, on the top and the bottom will be blacked out that you can choose at the 2.76 uh, one ratio as well but usually I would like to put it at 16 by 9 so that would be for my resolution next would be frame rate uh, it, uh, to give a nice look uh, I usually shoot on the 24 uh, 20, uh, 24 frame uh, uh, frame per second and uh, also for the playback I choose it at the 24 playback and some reasons uh, you may be required to choose 25 or 30 but for me it will always be 25 and the uh, shorter uh, usually I put it as an auto shorter or if you have any preference or you know more more professional you like to change the shutter speed you can do so as well but I prefer prefer to be auto shorter so that it's easier so the next one would be audio I wouldn't change on audio much uh, I'll let the let the uh, system select the, the audio itself I won't change much uh, uh, next would be going to the device uh, device usually um, there are not much of uh, things to change uh, uh, whatever the suit that I do it I usually choose at uh, save to the camera roll so it would straight away save onto my iPhone and for the remote control okay this one I'll talk uh, a bit later on because there is a there is a separate app for the remote control if you have a, another device like an iPad or even another iPhone so that you can use that to control the the, uh, the filmic pro or, or, or even change the settings okay uh, uh, beside on this uh, page I don't change much uh, just leave it as it is and the next one would be the preset uh, what I usually do it is if uh, whichever, whichever the settings that I have uh, done then I will save as a, a preset for my next suit so uh, I use the preset as it is for uh, CMS, I don't change anything. I just leave it as it is. Uh, as uh, not not very much familiar with uh, this setting. Uh, when it comes to the hardware, uh, it's the clean HDMI out. If you have got the HDMI connector, 
then you can do so even though audio over SDMI you can do so on this uh, on, on this page or on this uh, hardware section you can uh, connect your DJI Osmo mobile or Jayun uh, smooth for those are uh, gimbals that you can uh, uh, you can connect to uh, even anamorphic uh, adapters or all, all these you can connect uh, under this hardware sync uh, is to, to log in to your filming pro account and sync the the settings and all that you have community you can go and check it out what others are talking about if you need any assistance or anything you can go there and uh, check with the uh, other users so uh, uh, let's move on to the next one is the stabilization uh, I usually keep it as a stabilized uh, if you do not require or if you have uh, a steady um, a tripod or something you may not need to uh, to uh, on it as well okay uh, next would be the camera so camera you uh, depending upon your uh, phone it may have a wide angle telephoto lens or even a zoom uh, you can uh, shoot on a selfie mode as well so you can just change on that one torch is uh, is actually um, uh, the flashlight on your phone that you can use it so depending whether you require or not uh, i'll just keep it as all well. guide would be the one to uh, let you choose uh, or uh, let you give a guide whether uh, whether the subject should be on the center or the on the side of the center so that's um, uh, that's all about the basic setting on the on the uh, left hand side you can see the uh, white balance and other color settings usually for white balance i i keep it as uh, auto white balance and if i need then i will just lock it uh, when, uh, when whenever i need it so to lock the auto white balance you can just double uh, or tap on the white balance until it uh, shows red color so uh, yeah okay and uh, for the the next one you can see it over here is the is the um, uh, log uh, details whether your your pictures you want to be natural or you want to be dy dynamic or even the flat profile it's more of a color profile even a log version 2 I usually put it on a log version 2 so that uh, it would give me more freedom when I do a post-production or I do uh, any color correction or uh, color grading okay this one is the noise reduction so you can just click on the noise reduction or the check whether how much of the noise reduction that you like to uh, like to change it to okay okay let's go uh, let's look into the another one is the is the manual um, uh, manual control over on the on the left hand side you can see that you can change whether you would like your you have a full manual control over your your camera so it's the exposure then the sort of speed you can just change the sort of speed uh, if you like to okay and uh, ISO uh, on the right hand side you can see the focus and the zoom you can just change it okay if you how for how much of the focus you need it to the subject and even a zoom okay if you like any zoom right so that's where you can do a, a manual controlling of, of the camera there you go okay all right okay and uh, the next one you can see it is uh, uh, the control over the, the weather where is the uh, focus point or aperture how you want to change it how you want your things look like okay what are the subjects that are, are on the focus so you can just choose into that one okay right okay i'll just leave it and on the center bottom you can see the the when you are recording you will show you the the information about the recordings it will show you the time it will show you your how much of the voice recording and all the level of the voice as well and even it shows the battery uh, how much of the battery you have it and the storage just right below and also uh, it's recording on a 4k for uh, 24 photos per second so that's the, the details that it shows below and uh, you can uh, once you have done the recording on the right hand side you can see the setting button uh, and also play button and the record button on the uh, right hand side you can see the is the zoom zoom rocker 
so you can just uh, confirm your thing your subject okay all right uh, let me go back to how you can do a time lapse as well uh, under the frame rate you can just change if you look into the right hand side there is a standard and we have got a time lapse as well so uh, if it's a time lapse you can just uh, choose whichever the time lapse that you want or there is a one second two second three second and kind of five seconds okay all right okay let's go into the remote control earlier on i was saying whether uh, okay uh, remote control if you on the remote control if you have uh, purchased the uh, filmic pro remote and if you have another uh, device then you can uh, you can connect uh, the, the another device and control the uh, entire setting uh, let's let's assume that you are only one person shooting the video and there is no one else to assist you then you can uh, you can use that um, uh, uh, remote control option if you have an optional device as well on the screen uh, you can see that the, the red uh, circle that is for the exposure and uh, for the uh, on the, the rectangular square box that is for you to lock the subject uh, on the focus so uh, you can use that use that to, to change the uh, exposure and okay i hope this video was useful if you liked it uh, consider subscribing to my channel i'll be bringing more of such uh, reviews on the products and even running cycle so stay tuned have a good day cheers bye